Hey guys, um, I just wanted to talk to you today about the Kelty Asher that I have bought um, recently. If you remember, on one of my hikes, I was talking about needing to replace my college backpack, which is really actually just like a 28 liter camouflaged like kind of hunting backpack uh, or like a hunting style camouflage on it um, and I wanted something more dedicated to my hikes so I didn't have to keep emptying it out and switching stuff back and forth and so I knew I wanted something bigger than just a standard like hydration bladder kind of backpack which is you know just big enough for your two liter um, you know hydration bladder and I wanted to get something that would be able to store um, you know my butt wipes uh, be able to store like an individual first aid kit uh, food lunch camera gear drone uh, and a variety of other things but without it being a large cumbersome backpack like a multi-day uh, long-term hiking backpack I already have one of those I have an 85 liter by Kelty it's the Coyote 85 and that would be what I would use if I'm going to actually get you know a big dedicated tent for hiking backpacking and overnighting and you know sleeping bags uh, and any other variety of tools I may decide I need for uh, a long overnight um, so what is the Kelty Asher well it is this I actually really, I, I like the color scheme. It comes in another color. Um, it's a blue. I don't like that. I tend to like earth tones and greens for anything outdoorsy. I just like it. I don't like stuff that sticks out like in 1980s, you know, parachute pants or whatever. Um, I just don't know. I don't like loud colors. And so why would I go with like a 35 liter? I, I like that size for carrying around any sort of tools or equipment I may need and it's big enough too that you can do a one or two night overnight and just you know strap on your sleeping bag to the exterior and then you know get a small tent and you could stick it inside with still having room for food and a few tool dedicated tools to that trip uh, what does it have well it has a spot right here for one bottle or any sort of tool that you may want maybe some uh, poles for your hiking um, if you use poles I don't um, but you can stick your poles in here put it in between the loop and then you also have a spot over here as well for either redundancy or just more water storage anything like that and then you have a quick access on, on the top here so you could put for me I just put like batteries and stuff like that for my recording in there obviously it's not super big, and so I just put the stuff that I may, I don't want to have to rip through the entire backpack to get to. Um, so that's what I ha I use it for. You may put some kind bars or something like that in there, uh, and that's totally fine. And I think that's exactly what the functionality is for. In the back here, um, this is just an open air kind of uh, sack right here. Um, it's a mesh material, um, so obviously don't put anything that you're worried about getting wet or you know destroyed by you know rubbing on rocks or anything like that depending on what kind of hiking you're doing um but it's for quick access as well um i put like the butt wipes and stuff like that in there um i feel like if i get like really dirty and i need to wipe my face my arms or hands you know i can do that you know just for toiletries um you know sky's the limit for your imagination what you decide you need uh but that's what i just use it for right now um, and then for the main compartment you have just a giant open compartment right there uh, do I like it do I love it do I hate it I'm kind of indifferent having one big compartment can be really nice because you can fit stuff in there easier I'm coming from a backpack where you know the closest to me was the big compartment and then I had you know other layers outward with the separate zippers that is nice for just you know segregating the utility of them for um, they're all different uh, you know how often you're gonna be opening them accessing them um, in this basically you're gonna pack it for what you need um, 
you know, most immediately should be on top. The stuff you're not going to need except for when you're going to be uh, eating lunch or, you know, unpacking for your camping. The stuff that, you, you know, you really don't need access to very often should be in bottom and then work your way up to most immediate. And then, of course, you're extremely immediate with this top right here, top compartment, and also your mesh sides and back. Um, the suspension on it, I think, is fine. Uh, the backpack itself is only about two pounds, so it's very light. Um, I didn't notice any hot spots or real sweating. Um, it does have a little bit of mesh here for the back panel. It's not adjustable, unlike some of the bigger Kelty offerings. Uh, it has a little bit of a suspension here for like your thigh, your cummerbund area. Um, do I love it? Do I hate it? Um, it's better than nothing. This is a very minimalist pack. Again, it's only two pounds. It's not meant for carrying a heavy load. You just, you do have uh, adjustability for the suspension on your shoulder straps. Uh, but it's, again, you're not supposed to be carrying a lot. I would say the max that you should really expect to carry on this pack, you know, if, is about 30 pounds. That honestly, I think is on the high side. Um, if you make the mistake of being a beginner hiker and you use like a lot of canned goods or whatever, yeah, it, it's going to suck. I did that once. I uh, I learned my lesson and that's just, you know, what everyone has to do when they're hiking for like the first time. Um, and that's kind of a, what I think this backpack is aimed towards is either beginner hikers or somewhere in between, you know, a just a hydration and a, you know, multi-night backpack like an 85 or something like that. Um, it also can be for um, what people call like a three-day assault pack, um, you know, for like the tactical people. Um, I was actually looking at a Mystery Ranch backpack that was about a 30 liter. This was just a lot bigger. It was five liters bigger and it was only $100 on Amazon. That, you know, as a value point is huge and that's I think the main reason why I bought it and I also like the Kelty brand. It came in a color that I like. Uh, I didn't want to get anything that was uh, you know a canvas or whatever or um, a very loud color so that was once I saw that it had a color that I thought was appealing um, and for a hundred dollars I just had to do it. It it will work for most people in most types of hikes. Um, I wouldn't say use it if you're going to do a lot of long weekend uh, camping trips. I would say wait and get a bigger backpack if that's what you know you're going to be doing. If you're walking in and you're going to be dabbling with an experiment with one or two overnights. Uh, yeah, I would say give that a shot first and make sure you actually like it um, for backpacking and everything else. If you're just going to do a one day or one night hike um this would be absolutely more than enough for that so you really just have to experiment and find out for yourself but for a hundred dollars i would say it's absolutely a good price point for you to experiment with and find out what kind of hiker you really are for backpacking um what kind of uses you want it for if you want to uh, get home bag or something like that it would be perfect uh whatever your philosophy is for utility um i think it can fit a lot of uh purposes